Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, good afternoon, folks. I wanted to ask your help today. I'm going to be giving a uh, talk at the Money Show in Las Vegas. I'm going to be doing it in front of uh, stock traders, and um, I'm trying to get their interest, and you know what? A, B equals C, D. So what I thought I would do is put up a big chart like this and ask the question, wouldn't it be nice to be a buyer right here? And if I could show you an easy way to find that number, that it would really help you trading longer term. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna walk through some of these just to show you what it looks like. Now that was the before picture. And of course, and you know, I just picked two of them at random folks. I picked the uh, Netflix and I picked Apple because I wanted to show several things that the ABCD works. This happens to be a daily. And then what I did was I went way back in history and uh, found one. Uh, this was before the split of course in Apple. Uh, and we'll take a look at this, but this was many, many years ago. You'll see it's the same question. Wouldn't it be nice to be a buyer down here at $14 a share in Apple? That's like four or five years ago. And you can see uh, all I did now is I just took the little Thunderbolt pattern and I lined it up to show that, by golly, look at this. This ABCD pattern looks pretty good. I've got a really good crowd coming in uh, in Las Vegas, which is nice. I haven't been there in uh, six or seven years, I think, for the money show. But I used to do them every year, every single one of those shows, New York, Las Vegas, wherever they were for many years. And I was the very first person that they asked to speak back in 1999. Jim Sugarman and Tim Borkman, who were my students, were doing a gig over in California. And they said, come on over. We got some guys to trade. I uh, want to hear you talk. And so I went over there. I had a pair of khakis on and a uh, little um, polo shirt. And there were 2,500 people signed up, and actually uh, uh, TFNN, not TFNN, FNN, Financial News Network was there, and they had it on TV and everything. And from that level, uh, of course, uh, uh, we were able to, they were able to be bought out by NBC, and uh, which made it pretty nice. Actually, it wasn't bought out by NBC. She just started it herself. Now, here's another one here. I, I wanted to try to show them the versatility of the ABCD pattern, folks, because that's, you know, basically, it's the that's the foundation of what I look for. Now, this is a uh, just an hourly chart. See, it's just an hourly chart, and I'll just want to show the ABCD patterns on an hourly chart. And so, and, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask them to pick some stocks that they have, and we're going to take a look at those, too, to try to get it. You know, I'm only going to be doing it for three hours, so the funny part is, that you know, everybody knows it takes five hours to be a professional uh, a trader. So it's going to take, a, they're going to be a little shy of that. And then finally, I want to do Apple. Then I wanted to show you, this is now on a eight minute chart, which we'll be able to trade during the day because of the fact that, you know, we got several hours to trade and I want to show how these patterns actually work. And there's an eight minute chart. Well, where's the ABCD pattern in that? Well, it's not too far away to take a look as we bring it up and uh, take a look. And the next thing I want to talk to you about is um, 60 minutes, folks. And there it is on the eight minutes. Last night, I never watched 60 minutes, but John Jameson said, you really need to watch it because the CEO of Google, uh, Mr. Pinchai was on and he talked about artificial intelligence. And folks, I don't know if you saw that show, but it literally knocked my socks off. Their artificial intelligence program has a, has a chess match that after four hours of training, it can beat anybody, any chess master. That's how good it is. But it also has some things that are negative. But boy, oh boy, I was blown away. I don't know if you know this, and I didn't know it until I saw the program, that the shortest short story ever written actually had six words. It was written by somebody extremely famous. 
you'll never guess, Ernest Hemingway, yes, and it was six words. The six words were for sale, baby shoes, never worn. And my goodness, isn't that something when you stop and think about what happened with something like that? Holy moly, guacamole. That's just totally, absolutely amazing. So what I'm saying is, by golly, you know, <laughs> when you can do something like that, it was just absolutely blew me away. Because what they did was they took the artificial intelligence program and say, D just, just give me a, uh, give me a, I think it was like three, five or six paragraphs about what this really means. And oh my gosh, the descriptions of what it was. You know, a baby was was not born. The woman couldn't get pregnant. I mean, just so many different things just from those six words. And then they showed all kinds of things that are happening with these other things. And we were seeing these in the market too. So that's what, uh, you know, we see these things jumping around all the time anyway. But it was really mind-blowing and how they could, um, they ask it, it, does it, is it like, is it human-like? And they said, no, not really, but it has characteristics of this because it remembers everything. The, the, acres and acres of computers that do this is just out you wouldn't believe it folks it was uh it was just really if you, if you didn't get a chance to see it uh, if they have reruns on it i'd watch that because it was really quite good now i did want to bring out net netflix as this is one of the things i wanted to show the folks that i'm going to be doing here and we'll get this up here to take a look at it you'll see i'm going to say uh, wouldn't it be nice to know that uh, this could be a top in netflix then all I'm going to be doing is just drawing the ABCDs, just like I would be watching them and I send out on the videos that I do and in the newsletter and stuff like that. And you'll see there's where we are. We went right up in this area here. And you can see we were right to hide and it broke in half. We've rallied back uh, about 38% right now. Not too much, but it's still uh, on its way. So th those are the things I'm going to be showing them. And then we're going to doing, I'm going to show them you know, the, the, how this all started with Gartley, Benoit Mandelbrot, most of you folks have already seen all that. So that's the, that's the main thing. I've been asked to talk uh, just a second about the natural gas. And I, I know we've had a nice move in it, but unfortunately we had our stop at break even, and then the market turned and uh, took off. And, you know, that's a trading error. It's not actually a trading error. It was a decision on money management. I never never worry about those because I know I'll get back in. But someone asked me if this was a dynamite triangle uh, in the uh, thing. Well, it was because you don't know what the bottom is. All I did was connect it to make the triangle in. But when it popped through there this morning, you can see that it just took off and, you know, really ran. And those, those when you see those, you know, you if you learn how to trade them, you know, they're pretty good. I don't do that. But I'm going to start looking at it because some of these markets are running so fast, you need that to get started. And that's why I think it's uh, pretty important to, you know, to pay attention to that. That's my two cents worth, and I'm sticking to it. The other reason why I came back was because of what's happening in the gold market, folks. I wanted to get this up here so that you can see it. We talked about it. Uh, this was the, the – I didn't – well, I'll tell you what I did, and everybody that gets... When we were right here, I sent a video out selling to sell it short with a stop above here. I was overtired, and I had the ABCD 1.618 expansion, and I said, well, you probably just ought to scratch the trade or take a $2 profit not worry about it. Anyway, that's why I came back. I want to make amends for what happened, and we did. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, folks. I posted a chart of the uh, gold uh, over the weekend. I said we had the big break of sixty dollars. I said look for a three eight two retracement, and as you can see, it was perfect last night at uh, twenty eight. Uh, 2028 and we went all the way down to 1994 that position was covered at 2002 uh, after you've made that much money you want to uh, you know be, be sure that you uh, bank some profits that's uh, absolutely for sure I think we're trading at 2007 right now still down $20 uh, but it was a pretty big break uh, to the downside we've had several other trades that have lined up and we've just missed them. This was one that was very frustrating for us. And this was in the hogs. We don't trade hogs very often, but Rich Anderson was uh, telling us about the possibility of a pretty good rally in hogs. So we looked at the chart and you can see here that we were at a 1.618 expansion there at 85.50 on the close on Thursday. And we had an order sitting there for three days at 85.25. By, I missed it by $100, and hogs are all the way up here, folks. Now they've rallied uh, three cents a pound, which is uh, well over $1,400, and uh, we were standing at the gate, and we missed that. The same thing happened with us with the natural gas. We missed that one by a little bit, and then also we missed one other one that has been doing very, very well, and that was the uh, live cattle. Here again, we were looking at the same thing where the market had this huge run up, perfect symmetrical triangle, as you can see here, that's a one, two, three, four, five expanding triangle, also known to T6 and the Gartley. It was a reverse point wave in, uh, with uh, Wells Wilder. In other words, wave one, higher than wave two, wave three, higher than wave one, wave four, lower than wave two, and wave five, making a beautiful symmetrical triangle where the highs are equal, just absolutely perfect. And when they stop right at the 1.618, that's what gives you the uh, real uh, smiley face uh, on your trading is when they lined up this way. So those were just a few that we were looking at. And we had one that just didn't work very well. And that was this one right here. And uh, boy, I'll tell you the thing that, that would have been nice is for me to just say, and I, I told him, I said, once we get, below 3100 uh, below below our stop level we bought it right here our stop was right there 
And look at that. This is where it dropped. It dropped another point and a half from where our stop was. And that's where when these patterns fail, they're very, very important because they go on to the next level. And you just don't want to be standing in front of it when that happens. You know, it's just, it's just not any fun, folks. It's just uh, something you just don't want to have happen because it's, it's a big one when it does that. So anyway, those are some of the ones that we've been working on uh, over the past few days and stuff. I do want to take a second here. By the way, our, our guest today will be Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. Always has some good stuff. And I wanted to make something, the third reason for my coming back, besides the fact that I've got to go to the uh, money show and stuff, was what happened in the currencies on Friday, folks. This was huge, and I didn't see it till the very end of the day. Thanks to our good friend Jim Twentyman, he alerted me to this fact. I'll get this up here. This is the euro on the weekly basis, folks. And this was really important. It hit the exact 61% retracement of the high way back here several years ago. Now, not many people, in fact, no one that I know of reported on this. I, I did over the weekend once Jim showed me you know, what was happening. Other people said that uh, that number is incorrect. And when I asked Mr. Twentyman, I said, JT, I said, tell me, what is the real skinny on what is the number to look at? So Jimmy went to his usual source, which is CQG, and he brought up this chart, and I want to show it to you what it is. This is the foreign exchange chart with real Forex. This is not futures, okay? Not futures at all. This is the actual foreign exchange. These were the key highs and lows over that time. And as you can see, we were spot on at the number we thought it was supposed to hit, which is right about that 110 and change level. So that tells us this is really big. Now, that reversed the dollar, and that's what caused these other things to move very, very quickly, you know, in that direction. So that's why I wanted to take a look at these, because we've got some really important events happening here, and we want to be watching. We had a order to uh, sell the euro on a uh, 382 retracement last night, and uh, we missed it by just a heartbeat. I think it was by six pips. And then it kept, uh, you know, going lower and lower and lower. Now, I wanted to uh, bring up the part about the natural gas one more time here because there is going to be a great opportunity here, folks. But what we're watching right now in natural gas is we're having our first really strong rally. As you can see here, we split. There was our buy point right here. I put the stop at break even. It went a little bit lower. And then, of course, it's bopped up here, you know. Like my grandma said, you're going to have to kiss a few frogs if you're going to find a princess. But by golly, we missed this one. So we're going to be watching this. With this gap up like this and getting to this 382, if it gets here too fast, which one day is pretty fast, that number is at uh, 235. We're at 229 right now. We're probably going to go through here. So what we want to be watching, we don't want to miss this whole thing like this. So the only way you can do it is you have to go down to a smaller time frame and try to buy a 382 pullback or a small ABCD on the 30 minutes. And that's what we're going to be trying to do. Once we get that, then we know exactly what our risk parameter is. We're pretty darn sure that this is the major bottom. Anyway, that's a little frustrating. But anyway, that's what the business is about. And it was a period when I was overtired and everything, and that made it difficult. Let's go across the pond. Everybody's going to get a free trip over to Germany today. And as you can see here, we've had a reversal in the German market, you'll see where we've been right here. We're right up here, making a new high by just a little bit. And then, of course, it's reversed. And it's reversed uh, by quite a bit, actually. Now, if we take a look, I'll show you the, uh, just get this up here one second before the break. And this is the FTSE. You'll see the FTSE has done pretty much exactly the same thing. But as we know, the FTSE is nothing more than a conglomerate of foreign stocks that are traded in London. Most of those stocks are not even London stocks. They're from other places like Dubai and Spain, Portugal, Norway, other places like that, <clears throat> Morocco, wherever they have those stocks. Yeah, I'm not even sure where they are. <laughs> anyway, we'll take a take a little break here in just a minute. But I wanted to, uh, to ask you uh, if you have any feedback on the way I'm trying to show how ABCDs work. You know, you can't cover a lot in just a few hours, so I want to show – uh, some patterns on an eight-minute chart so we can see those move and give them some examples of how ABCD works. Remember, it only works about 60%, a little more than 60% of the time. But, boy, the payoff is what's really good about it because when it's right, it's usually right to the tune of about 
you know, uh, three to one or higher. So that's what the Floor Traders Handbook has been able to prove conclusively that it certainly has the odds, you know, in your in your favor as we're looking at some of these things here today. So if um, you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. And as I mentioned, the uh, guest on the show today will be none other than Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. And I wanted to bring one other chart uh, to your attention here, if you'll bear with me for just a second. Oh, no, that I lose that son of a gun. No, it is. Here is the Ural. This is, I wanted to show you that Ural last night. Uh, we just missed it. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Norm Winsky on the line of Astro Trends out of Naples, Florida. Norm, are you there? Yes, sir. Hello, Larry. Can you hear me okay? I hear you coming in, and you're the reason I'm here today. I was supposed to go on vacation this week, but when you told me what was happening, I said, I've got to be here, folks. About three and a half years ago, well, it was about three years ago, on a day like this, it was in May. I don't remember the exact date. It was the third or fourth. Uh, you no, gave I, I'm going to go, go over that, Larry. So oh, go right ahead. Why don't you? I won't steal your thunder then, my friend. Fire away. Anyway, I appreciate your uh, delaying your vacation. I greatly appreciate <laughs> it. So anyway, I'm going to review what I said the last time I was on your show on the 20th of March. We had a new moon coming up. And anytime we have a new moon, we were looking at financials, greens, precious metals. We had a big point to the U.S. chart. Anytime we have the U.S. chart, we have U.S. stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. And the afternoon of the 23rd, 
had a big event with Pluto changing the signs. That only happens on average, I think, every for about uh, 20 years. Yeah. Wow. So it's a 248 year cycle. Uh, you might remember the last time that happened, Larry. Yeah. And I then we have. Day, I remember. <laughs> There you go. I think you were on the CME then, right? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so a major change in trend, cattle, cocoa, copper, corn, cotton, gold, whole hog, sugar, tea bonds, and wheat. You might be affected by Pluto entering the sign of Aquarius. So let's go look, review what, what I had. So on the corn, we had two points. We had the moon and we had the Pluto thing. And there we on the moon, which was the afternoon of the 21st. Uh, it was kind of going, it was kind of a mixed signal there. So I would take a pass on that. It just had a, you had a high there, you had a low there. It was kind of whipsawing back and forth. However, we did decline into Pluto changing signs there. And as you see, that was a very nice low there on the corn. Yellow is a pass. Green is the opportunity to make some money. That's good. Here's a, here's an example of something that didn't work on the beans. They just kept going down on the moon. And so that already is a miss. Here's the wheat. We did good on the wheat there. Well, you know, sort of good. And that you were a little early here, but it still was the next day was the low. So I allow one day. And then this over here was really good. If you bought there on the afternoon or the, near the close of the 23rd, you were buying near that low. And then it was a rocket ride up. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's cattle. Cattle, the low day was the 22nd. The next day on the 23rd, you're buying on the Pluto thing there against that low. You don't have a lot of risk there. And up, up, and away, the cattle went moving. <laughs> Here we got the cat, cotton pulling back. The next day is the low on the Pluto. And then up, up, and away. Here's cocoa did not work. So that's a miss on Pluto. Here's hogs on Pluto. It made the low right there. Uh, yeah, that was a low day, the 23rd. And then you got sugar just going sideways, so we did nothing there. Here's copper. You're right near that top there. And that was, uh, doesn't look like a lot, but there's about, uh, I think about five cents, about at least five cents there, which would be uh, two grand, I say five cents, 10 cents. Uh, I think it was even more than that. I, well, I calculated earlier. So that's 10 down to 2. I think you have about 8 cents. That's a, I think it was about 8 cent move there, which is about $2,000. So. Here's a silver. It had a little pause there. It doesn't look like a lot because of the scaling, but it dropped about a handle there. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's a low there. I apologize. That's a low there and then up, up, and away. Here's the gold. Had a nice pullback into the moon and then rallied into Pluto. And that's about a combination of those two things. You made it could have made about a hundred dollars on gold. <clears throat> Here's the S and P was really good. Rallied right into the moon. And our two points there plus the U.S. point. You had two points right there, and then down into Pluto, and then up, up and away. Here's T bonds. So also good. It made a low on the two points there, the moon and the U.S. point, and then up into Pluto, and that was the top, and then down. Here's a dollar. We had two points for the dollar, the moon, and the U.S. point. And that did not work. Actually, Pluto was a big factor in more markets than I anticipated. So, obviously, the low day there was the 23rd when Pluto changed signs. Maybe that's who Pluto I also do with central banks, too. Maybe that was a factor. So, anyway, uh, Aussie dollar pulled down right into the moon and then popped up. So, you had a chance to make a nice... A one day profit there, one to two day profit. Here are the British pound pulled back into the moon and then up. Okay, and the Canadian dollar pulled down into the moon and then it had a little bounce up. So you had a chance to make some small money there. Uh, the euro, we, the moon was early on the euro. It didn't top until two days later, so that was a mess. And here's the yen pulled down into the moon and then popped back up for a, you had a chance to make some nice money there. Here's the score. Count up the green arrows, red arrows. You had 20 winners, five misses out of 25 for 80%. Here's my planetary index that I do. I did not show this last time, but uh, if you sign on to my letter, you would be giving this. 
Uh, this is like uh, my version of the Bradley model, you might call it. Anyway, we uh, see the planetary stuff on here. That was a full moon. That was Venus zero north latitude. Was near the form to help form that low there. And we went up near the full moon there and then down to Mercury north latitude. So the blue line was, I did that in advance back in, this was for March. I did that back in February. And that's how it came out. And the black bars are the S&P 10 minute bars. So that worked out pretty well, I think. And moving ahead here, here's what's coming up. We got a nice list here of stuff coming up here in the second half of April. The night of the 19th, we have a solar eclipse. And that's just a solar eclipse is just a special kind of new moon. Every time we have a new moon, full moon, we have financials, grains, precious metals. And here's what makes it really interesting. Now, the solar eclipse all by itself does not have that great of a track record of of giving you a, a change in trend in the markets. It's, it's, I'd say the lunar eclipse is much, much better. The solar eclipse is a kind of a, 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 a mediocre indication. But you tie that in with as a new moon with Mercury retrograde. And as you were talking about, Larry, back in May of 2015, we had that combination. I alerted you to that. And you had me go do some more research and come back and talk about what was going to happen, I think, around the 19th of May. And uh, we, when we had a new moon and Mercury turning retrograde within 24 hours of each other. And that's what we, here's the chart here, Larry. Uh, right there, the green arrow is the high right there. I got the, the high of the year was on the 20th of May, uh, right there on the S&P. So I think the Dow topped the day before. So there we go. That's why we care about that. It looks pretty interesting. I did, went and did the research on that back about 10 years. I ended up with about 10 of those. It's a very erratic cycle, not a regular rhythm to it. Uh, but I found about 10 of them, and oh, I think 9 out of 10 of them were all really good uh, change in trend points, big big turns in the market. I think all but one were highs. And this is what a, we have going on right now. Uh, we have that coming up in a couple of days. We got the uh, two, three days out. Let's see, the 19th, what's the day, 17th? Yeah, uh, two to three days out. We have a going to have a solar eclipse, which is a new moon, and Mercury turning retrograde. Okay. We got to so take a few breaks. Can you can you stay with us? Do we pay a few bills and we'll be right back yes, with Norm Winsky? Of Astro Trends, we'll be back in just a moment, folks. Got to be. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back with Norm Winsky of Astro Cycles. <laughs> Astro Trends. Sorry, used the old moniker of my old uh, newsletter, um, Norm, but please go ahead, continue. Okay, when we left, we were talking about the combination of the solar eclipse new moon and Mercury retrograde. And past uh, uh, times when we had that combo, uh, we often had a big turn in the markets. And here's the one that you were talking about earlier. May of 2015 was la, that uh, within one day of that was the high of the 2015. Moving ahead, uh, over the night, over in the night of the 21st, overnight we have a Uranus to the U.S. chart. That's U.S. stock, T bonds, U.S. dollar. Uh, again, we have another point double whammy here for the U.S. that night, and that'll be the is that a weekend? Yeah, that's a weekend, and that's U.S. stock, T bond, U.S. dollar. And then we come back. Then the next thing is the night of the 25th. That'll be Tuesday night. Uranus to the U.S. moon. That could be a very powerful thing. Might be specifically, might have something to do with the U.S. dollar and U.S. stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. And then the afternoon of the 28th, we have Saturn uh, heliocentric. That's from the point of view of the sun. Saturn entering Pisces. That's uh, cocoa, coffee, hogs, oil, soybeans, tea bonds. And then we also have, oh, that afternoon also, that's a double whammy. The afternoon the 28th, we have Pluto in Aquarius turning retrograde. So anytime, that's one of my top things on the planet's turn director retrograde. That's cocoa, copper, hogs, tea bonds. And of course, I forgot to mention that the stocks potentially will respond to all of the events, okay? So moving ahead there now, I think that's that. Oh, yeah. Now we're here. If you're not familiar with me, I've been doing this about 50 years, and I was a Chicago floor trader for 12 years, and I've studied lots of stuff. You know, Gann and Elliot and Astro, of course, doing the astrology over 50 years. Uh, I have a background in music, Fibonacci, you name it, technical analysis. I probably looked at all that. Anything that's uh, rooted in nature, I'm interested in. Uh, anyway, give me a call. I'll be happy to help you answer your questions. If you'd like to know more about the uh, Mercury New Moon pattern, uh, give me a call there. And, we have a couple uh, questions, Chief. Get you some more videos. What's that? We have a couple questions. Yes, sir. Okay, the first question comes from Wichita, Kansas, and that is, have you done work with wheat uh, and astrology stuff other than the things that you usually do, like uh, any lunar things that you do special? Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't understand the question. I do. Well, then don't answer it. You don't have, I, to, you don't have to answer it. Then. <laughs> and there's that nothing again? special that you do with wheat then. There, there is nothing, nothing that you do. Nothing special. I have my regular methodology I do with mm -hmm. wheat. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, that's right. it. You know, the, the, the okay. main thing for the greens is the moon and mercury. And if you have like wheat meat, wheat might, you might add in Venus for wheat. And that's about it. Pretty simple. Okay. All my stuff is okay. very simple. Okay. By the way, speaking of simple, I don't think that anything I do is over a fifth grade level. So, you know, if you made it through grade school, you're good to go with me. You know what I mean? So, well, I, I got made some it through. I was in I, the third. It took me three I, years I to get out of the third grade, but I was okay after that. What's that again? Listen, I said I took me three years to get out of the third grade, but after that, I was blazing saddles. 
Listen, I'm going to let you go, but uh, you did some great work today. And, uh, you know, I want to wish you the the very best of luck for the rest of the month. And we're going to have you on when we have the next new moon, full moon, which will be in about 14 days. Did you want me to come back uh, in the next yes, show? I'd like for, yes, I, I have to, I'll call you about that. Uh, we're gonna we'll have you on for the second segment here uh, with uh, Tom O'Brien's show as we come back from that. But I'll finish up here, and then I'll give you a call on Skype afterwards, and uh, we'll uh, go through what we're going to cover. By the way, today's Arch Crawford's birthday. I don't know if he's – Arch is 82 today, so – we're going to send out a little salutation for him today. He retired a few years ago, but he's still alive and well here in Tucson, uh, Arizona. So anyway, hey, Norm, you take it easy, buddy. We'll see you in about uh, 45 minutes, okay? Okay. Thanks a lot, Larry. You bet. Hope, uh, Norm Winsky, hope folks, I can help some of your folks. Give me a call. Send me an email. Give that phone Thank number you. one more time. Someone's asking for the phone number one more time. Uh, My phone is 239 216 Two five seven eight, or you can email me at n w i n s k i at yahoo dot com, or you can call me on Skype at n winsky underscore digit one. Ten four rubber duck. Listen, we'll see you in forty five minutes. All right, thanks a lot, Larry. You bet. You bet. Norm Bye. Winsky of Astro Trends, folks. Always good to have him on the show here. I wanted to uh, bring one chart up from the. Uh, the newsletter that we did this week because uh, it was something that we thought was going to be uh, very, very important. And that was the, uh, let me get it up here so I can get the right one in here, uh, which was the daily of the uh, British pound. This is something that we've been watching uh, for quite some time because you had multiple uh, ABCD patterns coming together up in this area of the, the 120 uh, 125, 126 area, and as you can see, the big reversal that we had. Now, that's related to the euro, you know, hitting that 61% retracement spot on. So that that's an important thing. So we're waiting for, you know, the 382 retracement. We missed it by, you know, well, we missed it only by about six pips last night, but uh, it broke a considerable amount after that. So there will be one coming, you know, there's no question about that. And uh, all we're trying to do is to line up the patterns you know, with these ratios that we have, and that's the edge that we use, folks. It's uh, not as hard as some people think. Some people try to make it too hard, but it's going to be my job coming in here on the 26th in Las Vegas. I'm going to be having some folks from the stock industry, from the stock uh, trading group there, and they put a little challenge out to me to show them that I can't re replicate what I do here. And guess what? That's a flat-out no-brainer, Bubba. I do that every day. I might not do it that day, but it'll be close. And I will follow through with the folks there, just like I do any time to try to give them an idea. You, it doesn't – see, I'm only going to be there three hours or so, right? And it takes at least five hours to be a professional trader. So all I'm going to be do, is doing is trying to show them ABCD, just like those – charts I showed you on Netflix and Apple and different time frames. You can do any chart that you want. Banking stocks, whatever it happens to be, they're going to be there. All you got to do is identify them. Is it easy to identify them? Sometimes it is. Sometimes it isn't. That's what trading is all about. Trading is simple, but it's not easy. That was a moniker of Mr. Mark Douglas himself. I heard it time and time again, you know, through those years. And the other thing is, is that when you're doing this business or any other business, there's 100% recipe that never, never fails for failure, and that is trying to please everyone. You are never going to please everyone. My dear friend, Tom Hugard, who has 25,000 uh, listeners or followers on his Telegram channel, has people that actually do everything in their power to make his life miserable. They lie about him. I, well, you wouldn't believe some of the things they say. None of it is true. But Tom has a tendency to say, well, that, that, why do they say that? You can't do anything about those people. And so all I did was this happened to me when I first started this business. I asked Larry Williams, and he laughed. He said, heck, he said, that happens to everybody. He said, just don't even think about it. Don't even answer them. Don't do any of that. He said, they don't like it. Tell them that. Move on. You know, get on a different bus, as Grandma used to say. So that's what we're trying to do here is stay on the same bus here at Trade What You See. We do a pretty good job. We, are we perfect? Oh, never. It never happened. Nebahachi, as uh, Tonto would say to the Lone Ranger, which means never happened. Anyway, that's the main thing that you got to remember, folks. Just don't give up. Learn how to do something that works in your favor, whether it's a moving average. It doesn't make any difference. 
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart here of the heating oil. If you remember last week, uh, early on Monday, we had our good friend Mike Moore of Moore Analytics on, and he was telling us about watching heating oil because it was starting to weaken and it might pull the rest of the complex lower. Well, I hope they do that because we have $5 a barrel uh, a, a gallon a gasoline here in Tucson, which is about $1.75 higher than it was just a few months ago. So whether that'll continue or not, I don't know. But Mike has done some really good work. We have that beautiful Gartley up here, as you can see, uh, right at this level, and we've had down uh, quite a bit since that time. So, and there were there was only just a few small 382 retracements in here, which they weren't they were really hard to see, and they were they happened so quickly that you had to be you know up in the middle of the night, which I had a tendency to do. I haven't been doing it lately because I'm resting up. I'm actually not actually doing any trading at all now, folks. I've had a heck of a run. I made a couple of trading errors. Um, not not that they cost me any money, but uh, I got out of a position that I shouldn't have. I forgot to put a position on that I should have. And when I make those, I know it's time to take a break. So that's what I've done. And this week's going to be fun because I'm going to have guests on. Tomorrow we have Stan Harley, Wednesday Jeff Huge, Thursday Shane Smolian, and then Friday we're going to have uh, Michael Moore. So th that's what we have scheduled for the week. It'll be an easy week for me because I can do two shows a day when I have someone coming in to help me 
you know, give some great information like they have here at TFNN. So be sure, folks, you do something for your neighbors because, uh, you know, the people out there are still having a great deal of trouble. Just in my neighborhood here, which is a pretty nice neighborhood, some folks are still having a lot of trouble. We have a lot of elderly people that need to be taken care of, and some of their families don't really give a hoot. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude to may God bless and stay tuned for 24-7 Live. Fibonacci is coming up next. We'll be right back. Thank you.